All right, guys. So we have the information about Joe Burrow's contract leaked and revealed here. And I want to break it down because there's a lot of things going on here, okay? Starting off right away, he has a roster bonus this year of $40 million. This will be treated as a signing bonus and will be pushed uh, over the next five years of the NFL of his NFL contract. This means that, yes, he will impact us this year toward his uh, our salary cap. His salary cap does go up this year around $8 million. Um, it's not a huge, crazy deal, but it's definitely something to take in consideration that he is going to be getting an $8 million increase to his salary cap this year. But you can see with the numbers, these are actually very team-friendly. I'm surprised the Bengals did not release this already and just you know get it out there because this is actually looks very, very good for them. Overall wise though, this is not all what is, you know, in this contract. So let's break this down. First off, he gets again, like I said, a roster bonus of 40 million. Again, it is being treated as a signing bonus, which is weird because usually a roster bonus is guaranteed money. It's not a it's not something you could push over a time period. So a signing bonus, you can always push over a certain amount of time, either with voidable years or just, you know, the appropriated bonuses over time. Roster bonuses usually are fully guaranteed at the time that they are, you know, agreed on. Usually they're agreed on like, okay, so this year you have a $40 million, uh, contract, a $40 million roster bonus. As of next year, first day of the league year, 100% one, one you're getting the money. Right? So usually that's how it works. That's not the case because they're treating it like a signing bonus. So this ends up, you know, giving him a lot less of a signing bonus. He really doesn't get a signing bonus here. Um, and it more or less just pushes the money over the course of his contract, which is actually nice. We also have 90 million of option, optional bonus on this that we don't have actually listed on this right here because sadly overthecap.com doesn't give me the option to add it. What is an optional bonus? Well, let's go ahead and break it down according to the NFL, um, NFL's own bonus sheet. In each case is, the bonus is a payment to the player that's con contingent, con contingent on the player signing a new contract, aka the signing bonus, or remains with the team optional bonus or roster bonus. For the player, it is really the, it, it, yeah, for the player, it really isn't that important for his perspective of what type of bonus it is, because he's getting paid the bonus regardless of what it's called. From the perspective of the salary cap, the type of bonus is important because the way it counts against the salary cap. Roster bonus uh, count fully in the year of which they are paid. However, if a roster bonus is fully guaranteed, most or not, then the roster bonus is treated like a signing bonus and can be pushed over a certain amount of time. <clears throat> signing bonuses and optional bonuses are appropriated over the length of the contract uh, or the remaining years of the player's contract in the case of an option bonus, up to a CBA mandata uh, mandated maximum of five years. So what that means is, and again, keep in mind, it's not 90 million, like, wait, year one. Year one, his optional bonus, let me go ahead and bring it up real fast, is going to be a total of, Sorry, my, my bad, not year one. Year two optional bonus, 2024 option bonus here, is $55 million. So what that means is they can take $55 million and push that over a five-year period, which would put it at around $11 million extra a year. So if we do that, and I'm just going to put it like here, $11 million, okay. Let's do it again. $11 million, $11 million, $11 million. 11 million, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, over a five year period. That's kind of in sense what the optional bonus would be. You, it's pretty much treated like a signing bonus, and you could put it over the five year period. Could also put it technically in the signing bonus here. Um, I'm putting it here, and I know I'm going to comment about this. This right here, non incorporated bonuses, is not what. I'm talking about here. This is not a optional bonus. It was. It's supposed to go here. Okay, it's supposed to go here. I guess I could just put it in here. A non-appropriate bonus is a roster bonus. It's guaranteed money the second the player gets, you know, the roster bonus. Is that's what it is? It's pretty much dead money. All right, I'll I'll put it in. Uh, okay, I'm gonna leave it there. The reason why I'm gonna leave it there, okay, is because 
only reason is because I want to... If I put in the signing bonus, it's going to calculate for this year. And I don't want it to because it's not going to start until next year. So, in theory, just keep in mind. Just think of it like this. I can't, I can't change the purple bonuses on this website. So, think of it as a non purple Just take away non purple because I'm not putting a roster bonus in here. Just put it and theorize. Put it next to it. Put 19 million for those years, okay? 19 million, 19 million, 19 million, 19 million, 11 million, okay? So, just in theory, that's how you should look at it. Sorry, I know it's confusing, but it's like the website doesn't let me have full control on what I want to do and what I want to put up. So it's just weird. All right, so he also gets an optional bonus in 2025 of 10 million. So again, you could take that two two more million a year starting in 25 over the rest of his contract, which actually takes us to 2029. So that's four years. You could put an extra two million onto that. So for example, starting in 2025. Um, where's my mouse? There we go. So in 2025, you could actually now make this 13 million, right? So 13 million, 13. Well, not what we wanted here. 13 million. I love this website. Sometimes, sometimes I love this website. And then two million. Okay. So now that's what his contract looks like after 2025. Because of the optional bonus, right? Okay, so now let's keep going. Um, he has a base salary of 10.714. We talked about that there. Um, 2025, sorry, 2026. He also has, by the way, a base salary of 25.25 fully guaranteed. And let me make sure I actually have this correct in here. All right, so let me actually correctify this real fast. So 2025, he actually has a base salary of 2025 guaranteed. So he has that much guaranteed of his, of his salary in 2025, okay? 2026, he has a base salary of the same exact um, fully guarantee, which is 20, 20, 25. So, and then let's just go through the rest of this. Um, he has a base salary of, yeah, so I already have that base salary correct, guaranteed in signing, guaranteed for injury at signing, fully guaranteed on the fifth day of the 2025 league year. Which is the 25-25. So just keep that in mind. Um, he gets an optional bonus of 10 years guaranteed for injury at signing. Fully guaranteed on the 5th day of the 2025 league year. So he gets an optional bonus over on the 5th day of $10 million on the 2025 league year. That's why I said, guys, this contract is... I wish he would just release it in a fashion that's more understanding, but it is what it is. Um, 2027 optional bonus of $10 million guaranteed for the league of the injury at signing. See item 11 for more, which is item 11 is <laughs> guaranteed at signing. Um, 18.3 million becomes fully guaranteed on the fifth day of the 2026 league year and a full 2027 compensation, including option bonus becomes fully guaranteed on the fifth day of the 2027 league year year they're really taking these optional bonuses and putting 90 million in there so if you think of his contract as 275 at least 180 of that is going to be his money and the rest is just optional bonuses and obviously not all that's fully guaranteed anyway so um 2028 optional bonus is 5 million uh he also gets a 2028 uh base salary of 35.5 million uh, roster 29, 20, 20, 2029 March roster bonus of 2.5 million, um, base salary of 40 million and 39,000, which I have here. Um, 2025 to 2029 incentives, $500,000 for winning the AFC Championship game, and another 1.20, uh, 1.25 million for winning the Super Bowl. He only gets 1.25 million for winning a Super Bowl. Interesting. 500,000 phoning um, the uh, signing, uh, $500,000 winning the championship. So, overall, let's kind of recap this, okay? Because I know that was a lot of information I gave you at once. All right, here's the breakdown, okay? This is exactly what we have here. But in 2025, he is guaranteed $10 million. In 2026, he's guaranteed a bonus of another $10 million. 
Um, let me just double check here. 2027, he's guaranteed another 10 million bonus. And then in 2028, he's guaranteed another 5 million bonus. So outside of what we have here, he's going to be pretty much guaranteed 20, 30, 35, yeah, 45, uh, is that 45 mil? 1, 2, 3, no, that's uh, 35 mil. He's guaranteed 35 mil outside of what we have here. He's guaranteed another 35 mil. So, yeah, this contract is definitely insane. It really is. And again, keep in mind, guys, this is just based on looking at what the information leaked and what info is revealed. By the way, the leaker was Pro Football Focus. Um, but there's going to be other things that end up coming out and, you know, get broken down differently. Again, I'm just basing it off the fact of what they're probably going to do based on the fact that, you know, this information leaked. Again, like I said, based on the fact of information we do have. But again, they might push this differently when it comes to their, you know, optional bonus. It really depends on how they do the optional bonus. But we're going to get the full, full details probably sometime soon. If this leaked out by Football Football Focus, then most likely the full, you know, like, breakdown will come out sometime soon. I will be making a video about that. But I just kind of want to give you guys a theory, or not theory, but kind of like a rundown of what it kind of looks like uh, based on the information we got here. And again, this is information we got here. Uh, in case you want to read it and kind of go through it yourself, here as it is. I'll leave it linked down below in the description if you want to. Uh, shout out to stripepipe.com for posting this. And it kind of gives us a general rundown of how everything is broken down. Again, it's it's a lot, man. It's absolutely a lot. And it's going to be interesting to see, you know, all the information we get moving forward. But here's another little rundown based on the reported numbers from Pro Football Focus. Burrow's 2023 cap hit will increase by $8 million from his rookie deal. The $40 million, uh, 2023 fully guaranteed roster bonus is treated as a signing bonus for preparation purposes. Uh, 2023 a cap hit pre-extension is 115 after that, it's 19.915. Uh, we will have some time to fully digest, but upon initial glance, the Bengals have, and in fact, utilize the option bonus structure of five years for Burrow's extension. I count five optional bonuses uh, fully guaranteed. So again, like I said, they're just pushing the money in the future. That's really all they're doing here and trying to, um, you know, avoid really paying right now because again, that does help you out for the long-term purposes. Uh, for my source, I have for, you know, the option bonuses, roster bonuses. Uh, feel free to read this. I'll have a link down below in the description if you want to. But this kind of runs down the whole, you know, optional bonus route in case you're like, hey, I, I didn't really understand what you said. Here you go. This is uh, pretty much, you can pause it if you want to and read this. Uh, this is the whole optional bonus, roster bonus, all that kind of good stuff. So, again, I'm going to scroll down the time best so you can read that part. Uh, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.